All right, here's the OEM thing by Tack Blades. It was the one that comes on the G-code already. Supports and everything. The only thing I noticed that on the inside, these things are pretty, pretty weak right here on this side anyway. These lower bottom ones. Well, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try and take the supports away, and then I'll install it. Okay, everybody, you saw me make it, you saw me take the supports off it. <clears throat> These are the tools you're going to need. Okay, you're going to need your printed thing. This is just for me to record. That's another light. So basically what we're going to do is we're going to take this, right? And we're going to make it look like this. Okay, we have the fans already. We have the screws already. Okay, because it's all together, so without further ado, I'm going to start putting this on here. Okay, first thing I'm going to do is use the smallest Allen key that came with this, and I'm going to remove this piece here, okay? <clears throat> something to put your parts in the pieces so we got one screw for that one screw okay another screw Anyway, don't need that piece. So we got the fan. The fan's already there. Now we'll undo these. You no longer need this piece, but you're definitely going to need those screws. All right, so we got the four screws there. We got the screws that we're going to need for this already. Now, we just undo these two. Try and do this without as as many cuts as I need. Alright. Alright, now it's pretty much hanging down. <clears throat> I noticed that when I was going to use the fang, I had to remove these washers to get any kind of thread, any kind of grip into the fang. So I'm going to remove the washers now. All right. Put these back in there so I don't lose them. Okay. So what has to happen now is this goes like this, right? So what you're going to do is you're going to take 
this part over there and you're going to try and slide it through. It does take a little force. Let's see if we can do it. Just got to line up the holes. All right, the holes are lined up. What you're going to do is you're going to pop them right back. You're going to put this right back where it belongs. All right. Now it's time to do the fans. Try not to lose any of the screws. One, two, okay. Alright, to put the radial fan in, he says you should pre-screw these first, which I've already done. I just ran a screw through them. So now, this can only go on basically one way. You can see the notches here. There's a notch here and a notch here, which will correspond with the notches here. So it can only go on basically one side okay so I'm going to do that now Now if you've done everything right, you have this fan here with the two screws that came with it. You have this fan here with the four screws that came with it. Right? And you have the two screws inside the extruder that came with it. Everything came with the printer, right? You have everything you put the printer together with. With the two tools that came with the printer. All right, now let's just plug it in. Turn it on. Band work. This was a pretty quick video. Kind of sloppy, but I don't usually do these type of videos. So next I'm going to put in... The dampeners, but I think you've seen this already. But you already seen the Fang mod put in by a novice, which I could say I am a novice in toying with printers anywhere, I should say. So if you want to see these put in also, let me know. It's pretty simple. You already have all the screws and stuff you'd actually need to put these in on your printer. All right. So anyway, hope you liked the video. Don't forget to subscribe. Like, like, don't like, doesn't matter. Hit the bell for updates for when I put up other videos. And hopefully it'll get better. Alright, have a good one.